Today was the official opening of this winterized dome here at Central Tech. Many were excited, but there are a few others that say this dome has posed a few issues. Don't get me wrong, the dome is a blessing and it's very, very useful and we were able to perform in ways that we couldn't before. But at the same time, you can only get so much practice in at that time. Here's the problem. The team can't get the full two hour practice they require. School wraps up at 315. The players need 15 minutes to gear up. So on some days, they could only get about an hour and a half to practice. That's because the dome was built in a public private partnership. Once the dome goes up, the students are only allowed to use the field until five and then it's rented to the public. This partnership uh, really allows the best of both worlds for, for all of us and the community. But not everyone shares the same opinion. The school's football team says their 5 p.m. cutoff time has been cut short before. Some days we're told we're off at 4.30, some days we're off at 5. There's never a set time and it just causes a lot of confusion with the kids. They start putting the nets up and they, they start kicking us out at like 4.30. Sometimes we have to practice like, like on the little slivers on the outside of the field. And like we don't get a full practice out or we have to go down to Harbor and like practice on their field. It's not even like a full size field. So like we don't really, and a lot of our players don't even go there because they don't feel like they should leave the comfort of their own school, you know what I mean? And go to another school just to practice. For the last three years, the football team has had to go to another school to practice during the construction of this field. There were a number of issues that halted construction like contamination and public protests against the sports facility. The team thought the drama was finally over until they faced these new challenges. We addressed the issue with a TDSB trustee and they admit some things still need work. Our priority is first and foremost our students, right? This project and this effort was to support our students and ensure that they have a space to socialize, to have a, a, you know, a recreational opportunities and of course to participate in sports. We do have a community uh, facilities management arrangement, which means that any issues that we're facing that you know, our folks are feeling are not actually living up to the commitment and the agreement laid out, it's to bring it there and to come up with a solution together. I was told today that the football team's concerns will be addressed at the next facility management meeting. Here at Central Tech, Stella Cuisto, City News.